have a friend like me that has worked at a company that most of us have bought or at least shopped for video games at? Well, maybe you don't. But if you do, you know that they sometimes get to take home, I don't know, paraphernalia from the store. My friend gave me some of his extras that he no longer can store and I'm just eager to dive in and see what he gave me. I figured maybe we could just do this together and take a trip down memory lane. Hey, I'm Shout House, and this is me just digging in some... Hey, I'm Shout House, and this is me just digging in some history. All right. Um, I haven't really looked into this yet. I haven't actually looked down in here. I, I know, of course, what's on the top. I've seen the, the top of this, but I don't know what's down in the depths here. I waited to do this with you. Um, also, I don't know if you noticed, but I've got a couple boxes back here of some extra stuff we'll take a look at as well. First, it, he gave me uh, a Battlefront 2. This is cool because it actually has the game in there, and uh, you know me, we uh, co we collect over here, so pop that on the collection. I love steelbook cases. I don't even care if they're full. I love that they exist, and boy, that's what a lot of this I think is supposed to be so we've got fallout 4 steelbook it even came with the little survival guide Ooh, the season pass uh advertisement don't you love that here advertise this um this extra stuff that we didn't put in the game just so you'll pay for it now i've never played this game but this is a really cool metal sleeve um odin sphere life riser i think that's how you say it life riser Life, life Tarazir? Life Tarazir? I don't know. But that's pretty cool. And I don't know if I, you're like me, but now that I've got these, I'm like, well, of course, now I have to play it. I at least have to see what it's about. Oh, here's a classic Morrowind for the Xbox. Okay, it's in there. This should play on the Xbox uh, series that I have over here. Oh, very cool. Gears of War. I think this is the original, the original Gears of War steel case with this insert here, which would have been the game. It's a little beat up, but that's not quite all right with me. Oh, cool a little art book, Destroyed Beauty. Look at the uh, inside look of this game. It was kind of a really big deal. Uh, I never, I've not quite gotten into these games. I started playing one. No, actually, I played through one, and uh, I started two, but I haven't quite got into it as uh, as deeply as I thought I might. And then the instruction booklet. Back in the day, I didn't really like the game at all due to the kind of clunky. I felt I felt it was clunky. It was it was on purpose because you're big and lumbering. Um, and it kind of took some some pointers from Warhammer, of course, but I, I I did enjoy it the last time I checked it out. Now this is great, Final Fantasy IX for the PS1. Ooh, and it's complete. We've got the instruction booklet. Ooh, and then the online strategy guide from Play Online. Don't you love that? You love to see it. Let's take a look at the discs here. Um, they're actually really nice condition. It's a thumbprint on it, but that's no big deal. Ah. Very cool. I really, really miss in-depth art booklets. I just and in, in turn, I just miss them. I think we all do. If uh, if you grew up during the time when that was commonplace, that looks to be complete. Mario Lemieux Hockey. I can't wait to not play this. But I love having this kind of stuff in the collection. One day I'm going to be really old and I'm going to want to finish my full collection of Sega games and, and all of that. Oh, Sports Talk Baseball. Um, I was more of a Bo Jackson baseball kind of guy back in the day because you could get yourself in a pickle. And that was always fun. Outrunners. I legitimately don't know what this game is. But I'm sure I can basically understand the, the gameplay of it. 
Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Wow, this is cool. I just really enjoy steel books. Everything down. I've I have a, a feeling. I like feeling things, and the feel of steel book it just is great. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I thought it was dirty. Well, it is a little dirty, but I thought it was like nicked and scuffed. But of course, that's just how how it looks. Ooh, and it came with the uh, meager instruction booklet, but at least it's there still. Oh, I wonder if anybody got to use the download code. Modern Warfare 2, 360. This is interesting. It's got like a little plastic shell sleeve. I don't know why. An art book. Art books are pretty cool, but like, you want to leave it. You kind of want them to be shown, but they're I never show them. They're always in the box or whatever. And it still came with that, so that's nice. They didn't really do much here on the back. But it's more than enough. I'm going kind of quickly through these just because I feel like I have so much here. And I'm not sure when the wife will be home. This is rad! I don't even I don't have this game, but I probably will get it. I really like One Piece. I started watching the anime quite a long time ago. And I'm still only like a third of the way through it. That's how crazy it is. Maybe I'm more like halfway. I'm like 600 episodes in. Still, it's a great anime. And it, uh, it's still going. So strong. Ooh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse. I do have this game. Maybe I'll uh, move it over to the Steelbook. Who knows? I'm get, am I getting like really old? I'm like, why, not, why am I doing that? I can see it straight on. Tommy Lazorda. Baseball. Woo! Put that over here. What we got here? Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So, pretty much all of them. <laughs> all of them now. This is kind of cool because it's showing off the, uh, I think the zombies side of things. That's, that seems to be one of the bigger game, games for that. Sega controller. The ASCII pad SG6. This feels awful oh a Sega game down here oh, a game genie I always wanted a game genie I I don't know how many times I begged my mom but my mom's like just don't cheat I'm like Ugh. Forza 5 not much to see here but I still like it oh it's got such good feeling the order 1866 now this is a game uh, advertising Bloodborne. Wow, because this was back in the beginning. 1886 was a launch, launch title, I think. Um, and it is, it, I don't know. I never got through it. I should give it a chance just to get through the story. And this looks to be uh, stickers for the different uh, characters' houses. But that would be cool if they were tattoos. I don't know why. I wouldn't use them still. Doesn't matter. Beyond Two Souls. Okay, I started. I do. Okay, I know a lot of people hate this uh, this game maker, but I really like their games. Um, I even enjoyed the newest one that they put out, even though it has some problems. I still enjoyed the experience. What we got here? This thing's big. Holy moly! Got a bunch of stuff in here. I don't, I still don't, oh, this one's cool! Okay, I'll put in blow out the mic there. USNC. It's like a, like a ration packet type thing, or, I actually don't, is this, is this, is this Halo 5? Yeah, okay, it's Halo 5. What is this code? What's the code for? Why is there so much more to scratch off? Why? What did this give me? The digital version of Halo 5? <gasps> yeah, it was a whole game. So obviously somebody grabbed that. Uh, Xbox Live code for 14 days. That's not really worth it anymore. 
Interesting. It's like a command. It's like an operation order just to kind of like fill, you know, make it feel pretty cool. Now this, this is what's cool. I did not know they did this for uh, Halo 5. I still never played it. And I'm not going to open this. I'm sorry. I, I'm not opening. I'm not opening this packet. I'll have to just look up what's in there. It's sealed. So um, what is cool though, and what I might, depending on what this is, is they gave a little like metal model thing that you can put together. Um, okay. It's a 3D laser cut model and I'm not, I, I have not played past Halo 3, so I'm not sure, but it makes that. That's pretty cool. That is a nice little touch because like you could fit it on. It's a little, it's thin, so you can fit it in a small case like this. This is cool. Very neat. I love seeing what they've done. Now I'm sure this came in a sleeve, but the sleeve's no longer here, but that's just how it goes, is it, huh? Uh-huh. Typo. Final Fantasy Typo. I do have this. Ooh. Oh, cool. Oh, the. I think this is the uh, original soundtrack. That's awesome that that came in here. Um. Okay, so yeah, it is the soundtrack, and here's this, the track list. So... When you got type O, they gave you episode Duske from Final Fantasy 15, which I'm not sure what that included. This is just like a nothing. I don't know what that included. I never played type O. I don't think I've opened the package, but uh, the packaging is great. It's got the classic Final Fantasy art on it. Man, there's just so much more in here. It's crazy. Uncharted 4. Uncharted 4's box is awesome. Look at that. I hope it's in focus. I'm so sorry if it isn't. I don't have the right camera today, but that's amazing. I love it. Wow. This one's so good. Quantum Break. A game that I actually liked. Um, I'm not sure that I'm into all of the games these people make. Of course, I gotta go on to Control. Because this one, I overall enjoyed it, but... And I did like the idea of making a show that went with it, but... I don't know. It didn't work. Assassin's Creed 3. I still haven't played 3. I tried to... I have, like, had a weird stickler on, like, when I play and the order I play games, and I still haven't beaten all of the Ezio collection. Um... I say the Ezio collection, but I started playing those games back when they came out. Oh, this is nice. The Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, and it came with the map. Oh, man. Come on. I don't know. That's not... What map is that? Hold on. This is Dark Souls 2. I have the... God of War map down there. I have the map of Skyrim because it's like more of a, uh, a crinkly paper. I have that map sitting up in a, a main room of my house. Oh, whatever. I don't want to open this up. It's too nice. I'm, I'm definitely one of those people who will just leave it in there. Nothing really going on here in the packaging, but it was. You can tell this was the PS2 or the PS2. This was... You can... You can tell that this was the PS4 copy, which is great. I do own this game, and I do want to play it, but just haven't had the time. Too many MMOs, and I have a habit of not sticking with an MMO, uh, MMO. With an MMO uh, for long enough. I did really get into Final Fantasy XIV. I resubbed recently and played one day. Lost Planet Extreme Condition. This is hefty. Came with two discs originally. I do not own this game. I heard I don't think I heard anything good about this game. No, that's a blast from the past. Look at that mobile game. Eat your heart out, kids, with your Fortnite. We had this kind of garbage. Man. See this is full this is a full on art booklet. This what I felt like it ended way earlier than the PS3 and Xbox 360 days, but I guess not. More stuff in here. This was never, um, this was never claimed. I think it's just a 14 day. 
Nope, this is a game map that no one claimed. Okay, here we go. Here's like a book. I th this is, oh, some art. And there's like a texture, uh, thicker cardstock used for the thing. I'm not sure I understand why they broke that up into panes, but cool. I like this. I like it. Pop you back in there. Ooh, Sniper 2 Ghost Warrior. That's a game that's always interested me, and I've never launched it, but maybe I'll have to do that this year. Uh, this is a game I have no uh, attachments to, and uh, that exists. I actually worked for the company that bought them, the team, after UNICEF. I don't know if UNICEF was actually the main, but you'd see Rocketen on there. I worked for them for a minute. Well, I worked for a company that worked, was owned by Rocket 10. This is another Halo, oh, Halo 4. Okay, no, Halo 5 just doesn't even have anything on the side, but Halo 4. This is cool. It's got like a textured side. Those lines are, they're, they're raised. The inside matches, but it's like with blue. Metroid Prime Trilogy. In, in the steel book? The Wii? Oh, I might be... Oh, man. I know the game's not in there. I know it's not. But let's hope it's not. Oh, man. This is exciting. The, the, the book... Man. I have this installed on my Wii U. Yes, my Wii U. Right now. And I should just play through it. But I just always get caught up in other things every time I go to launch that game. Whoa, okay, okay. More Nintendo Club stuff. All right, awesome. I'm loving that this came with the sleeve and everything. This is amazing. Destiny, one of the worst games I've ever played. And don't at me about it because I pre-ordered it. I played all the way through. I don't remember a moment of it because I was so bored. I played plenty of online matches. I don't know why. I didn't enjoy any of it. Dead Island Riptide, I have not played this. I don't know that it got very great reception. Um, but I always enjoyed the idea of the Dead Island games. I played Dead Island 1, but I never quite got far enough into it. Because you're always playing with somebody. And those people tend to quit out, and I, I quit with them. And I even though I want to play longer. Project Cars. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, Formula 1 2015. Oh, that was a good year. A good year. Dark Souls 2. Is there stuff in it? There is not much, but there is. Very cool. Oh, man, I love Dark Souls. Obviously. Oh, get back in there. This is weird. Yeah. Cool pose. Cool. I don't... Do I? No, I have the Collector's Edition for PC. Um, and that came with... The, I think it came with a similar. Yeah. Yeah. I have the Dark Souls 2 PC a special edition that came with this, but I haven't I haven't opened it. Um, and that's how I got that Dark Souls 2 poster. And the cool Dark Souls 2 statue. Thief, the remake that I don't think anyone liked. I'm still interested in trying to play it though. The original Thief games were really important. Uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, the game no one liked. Um, I thought it was okay. I never beat it though, but yeah, it just felt like more Final Fantasy. Here we go, best Final Fantasy, hands down, Lightning Returns. Just kidding. 
still haven't played through all of them. I stopped at a certain point in the original 13. I still have the save and I don't really know what I was doing, so I'm not sure what to do next. These keep getting me with how gritty and grimy they look, but here's Gears 2 with the manual. That's awesome. Wait a second. What? The final Battlestar Galactica season is advertised in this Xbox 360 Fable 2 thing? That's amazing. Oh, I love that show. That came out, that was coming out what? When this came out? That's crazy. Oh, I'm getting so old. Halo Wars, a game I do not think I will ever play. But people like it. People are really into Halo. I never quite got there. But I understand the appeal. Grand Theft Auto 5 for the 360. That was the console to play it on. Yikes. The Wife's Home. Borderlands 2. Great game. Great art. And great box. Two more here. Perfect Dark zero that was not the best perfect dark well it was like a comic they included like a perfect dark zero comic oh and another one of these shitty cell phone games you had to play on your flip phone is it really oh, oh my lord i guess we are two generations further and the last one here batman arkham knight a game that did not function for a very long time. Get out of here, it stinks. It's poster time. All right. So, they come in these huge boxes. Oh man, there's so much stuff in here. Okay, check this out. Pokemon Black version. Pokemon white black version. Don't miss Victini. I don't even know what that Pokemon is. I missed out on that generation entirely. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Go pro, get more. Man, if only they didn't make them so ugly with all this garbage on there. Oh, this is cool. And I think, wow, look at this. Splatoon. Oh, I wish this other one, I'm going to show you this one. Um, Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. Is this still Syndicate? I think this is still Syndicate. I haven't played it. I don't know which one that is. There's like 8,000 of these games. I desperately wish this was not folded. Oh, what an awesome game and what an awesome fo like poster. How amazing. Really cool. Oh, and the other side is the same thing. Oh, it came folded. Like it has like, that's how it was. Oh my gosh. Check out this. Check out this. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. Two Splatoon posters. May oh so cool oh man this is also pretty cool this is this is where the real cool stuff is oh come on why you gotta add this ugly pre-order now stuff to the front um cool I guess Lego Jurassic World and Lego Marvel's Avengers <gasps> But also Lego Dimensions. Another Splatoon. This one's big. This one's so big. Like, still though, really cool. Oh, there's some more in here that are uh, folded. What is this? this? Fold. Oh, hold for uh, the guy who gave it to me. Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. 
Now this is a game that did not quite uh, <laughs> really end up uh, mattering. I remember like so soon after this game when it came out that it, it went on sale for like five dollars. And it's not a bad game, it's just you can't you can't make a clone game and hope it, it you know works out. Another battlefront, pretty cool. A couple Oh my gosh, woo! A couple of uh, Tom Clancy's The Division. What? There's they're different size. Okay. Wow, this right here is what a rad poster. It's the whole. It's just got. It's just the poster. I don't know how well. Hope that like you can really see that. That's awesome. It, cool. Nothing on it. Right. And then find another game with just so much stuff on it. Like pre-order to get uh, some gold weapon skins. Oh man, this might have. Where can I even put this? Like, oh. now here's something I don't care about at all. 2K, you smooch, some here. Another Battlefront poster. But again, this huge yellow ugly thing on this awesome po- oh. Stupid. Oh. Mad Max poster. Awesome. This game was good. I liked it. Black Ops 3 poster. Uh, Destiny the Taken King poster. Dude, there's just so much in here. And there's another one to open still. Another Battlefront. Another Mad Max poster, which this one would be really cool if they didn't have this huge ripper vehicle thing on the side. Another Taken King. Another Taken King. <laughs> okay. Another Batman Arkham Knight. But here's... I'm so stoked that I got this. This is um, awesome. Phantom Pain. Oh my gosh, can I like do something to this? Like cut it here and maybe, you know, put something here? Like the, I don't know. Oh man, cool. I don't have any more space on my walls. Everybody's gone to the rapture. I could not finish them. Okay, Super Mario Maker. Uh, Madden, uh, sports. Buy two, get one free. Oh, and Guild Wars. I can probably get that put up somewhere. Maybe I'll play through Heart of Thorns before I uh, put it up so that I'm not just a poser. And buy two, get one free. Pre-owned Wii or Nintendo DS games and accessories. Just imagine. Cool. Very cool. All right. Oh, okay. Another Taking King poster. Lego Dim Dimensions poster. Look how big that is. Huge. Oh, man. Somebody is going to want this. And it isn't really me. But, oh my god. It's so big. But, like, only some of it's poster. Like, oh, Halo, Halo Guardians, right? Time to get the team back together. Oh, another Halo Guardians poster. Oh, here we go. If only there was all this other garbage on it. Uncharted Nathan Drake Collection. Okay, Rock Band 4. 
not for me. <gasps> this. This might have to go to my buddy. Transformers Devastation. I, I had that game and it looks good. Um, I installed it and never played it. NBA. A really bad Tony Hawk game. Syndicate. Siege. Oh! Dimensions. <laughs> WWFE? What is it now? Is it F? You get Arnold as Terminator in this game. Well, hell, I should have bought that. That would have been fun. Another Siege. Black Ops 3. Siege. You know what? The Destiny limited edition console is really one of the better limited edition consoles. Syndicate. Uh, FIFA. And another really good Mad Max poster. I think that closes it out. But this one's actually amazing like there's no this is not very if you wanted to you could just cut underneath where it says mad max and boom you have this amazing mad max poster very cool oh man i love looking through this stuff can you believe a lot of times this stuff just gets thrown out it's uh, it's really upsetting like gamestop legitimately thinks that throwing stuff out is better than them trying to to sell it like or or just like give it away to like goodwill or something they'd rather throw it in the trash which is awful not that goodwill uh you know needs it but it would just be a better plan i think to do that so that's awesome. That's that's all of it for now. Um, I am told that there's another box that I gotta go pick up. I uh, just haven't gone over there yet. Um, but I think I might do a giveaway on some of this stuff. So if you made it to the end of the video, comment, like, subscribe, or dislike, I don't care, either one. But if you subscribe and comment in the comments of which um, which one you're interested in? I'm gonna go ahead and give away some of these. Um, probably just ship them out. I'll have to roll them up though, so you know if it's that. As far as some of the Steelbox cases go, I'd love to give some of those away. You're not getting my Metroid Prime trilogy. You're not getting One Piece. You're not getting the best Final Fantasy game. You're not getting. Well, you can have that. Uh, you're not getting Dark Souls 2, but you can have Formula One. But I'm taking Project Cars, and I'm taking. Destiny, even though I don't love that game. And I'm definitely taking Borderlands 2. But, um, you know, you're not allowed to have any of it. Just kidding. You can comment and I'll do it. Or comment and hope. Yeah, no, never mind.